Hi there. Good morning. Thanks so much for joining us here on the Weather Network. It is Wednesday. It is November the 12th. I'm Emily Vukovic. And I'm Tom Reynolds, and welcome to a new planet. Yes. Because of the snow? Yeah. Well, yesterday it was 17 or 18 or whatever it was. Today it's like, you Tom, know. you don't even know. Snow. Welcome to a new planet. Well, I was around 15. I know that for sure. Did it break 15? <laughs> I think it was yeah. 17 in Paris. It was 17 in Pearson. It was 16 downtown. And yes, today our daytime high is And what is, is it now? Well, it's going to be three today. We're no. dropping. Well, it's a new planet. Yeah. That's what I meant. <laughs> Let's take a look at There's our current weather. There's snow out there, too. <laughs> <laughs> now, the afternoon temperatures, they're going to plummet, unfortunately. They're going to go down. So we're only going to hit three today. Well, you know, the, all around us, there's snow. To the north, it was really cold yesterday and snow. Yeah. Out in Minnesota and area, it was just uh, like, what was it? 63 63 centimeters. Three centimeters. Well, we're just going to be dealing with lake effect for the next couple of days. Today, it's more so to the north of the city. Starting tomorrow, it starts to move into our neck of the woods. So we're going to potentially see about five centimeters just north of the city, Newmarket, Vaughan. And then Sunday, this is a good chance for us to see some significant snowfall. And when I say significant snowfall, I mean a couple of centimeters, but still temperatures very cold. Hi there. Good morning. Thank you so much for joining us here on the Weather Network. It's Wednesday. It is November the 12th. I'm Emily Vukovic. And I'm Tom Reynolds. And right now, traffic looking pretty good on the routes. It's a little, little bits of rain here and there. <laughs> little tiny bits of snow thrown in in Caledon and Orangeville and up through Ray. So it could be a little slick. Let's take a look at our current temperatures running. We are going to be seeing uh, cold temperatures continue right into the weekend. I'm going to have those details coming up. It's not, uh, it's not looking great in terms of above seasonal temperatures anymore. No, and you're, you're very happy about it, actually. Well, Glo I'm, I'm not gloating, in fact. I'm not gloating. I you're you hoping are. that there's a tropical storm in Jamaica. No. You are. Let's, I, wouldn't, let's, I wouldn't wish a let's tropical storm. Let's say it storm. how it is. I wouldn't wish a tropical storm on you in Jamaica. You just want it to be a tropical storm on me. Nobody no, no, else. Just, just, just over, me. Just overcast. <laughs> no overcast, no sun. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> some degrees. That's what we hit at Pearson. Downtown 16. It was lovely. It was gorgeous. Today, oh, it's a big difference. We'll talk more about the weekend forecast coming up. But first, here's Tom with traffic. Well, unfortunately, Barrie, Aurelia, and Midland, you're in a snow squall watch. Now areas that are in the warning a little bit further north. We are going to be seeing these squalls continue for the better part of today and even into tomorrow. Some areas could pick up some decent snowfall. By Thursday, we could be seeing a little bit of snow pushing its way closer to the GTA, but our main significant system for the city is going to be happening over the weekend. So come Sunday, we do have a brand new system moving in. Saturday looks good with high pressure, but this one can certainly be bringing us some accumulation snowfall and the temperatures for the remainder of the week are going to remain below our seasonal average. Well, unfortunately, we do have snow squall watches in place right now. Uh, Barry has been dropped, thankfully. Uh, Aurelia, Midland, we're dealing with some snow squall watches as well. Areas further north and south, Meaford, down through King Carden. So if you do have travel plans, keep in mind that we've got those westerly winds, and that is what's bringing these streamers off of Georgian Bay and Lake Huron. Now, for the city of Toronto, not a bad day today. We are going to be seeing some sunshine, but cold. Temperatures only getting up to 3 degrees. Yesterday, we were 17 incredible a difference a day can make with those cold northwesterly winds now we are going to continue to see squalls moving through our area till saturday then we do start to see some sunshine sunday we could see some significant accumulation Good morning. Thank you for joining us here on the Weather Network. It's Wednesday. It is November the 12th. I'm Emily Vukovic. And I'm Tom Reynolds, halfway through this work week. And right now, uh, looking a little bit different than we saw yesterday at this time. Just a slight bit. Oh, boy. <laughs> yeah, temperatures are mm -hmm. certainly much cooler than uh, dealing with snow. It's mm -hmm. going to be a tricky drive around the 400, especially if you're going further north. Can you see any of that on your cameras? No, not really. They, once we get when, anywhere north of the Highway 7, we sort of uh, lose it. camera range. But, yeah, you're going to find it up in Highway 11 up towards Hunter. Mm -hmm and uh, just north of uh, Rillia, you'll probably be into it as well. Not nice, but it's the time of year. It happens when it's gorgeous throughout the day yesterday. Temperatures are unfortunately going to stay quite cool for the next couple of days. I'm going to get you right into your weekend in just a few moments, but first, here's Tom with traffic. Well, today's not an awful day. I mean, it's cold, but at least we're going to see some sunshine. Areas further north around Cottage Country, we've got that lake effect with those westerly winds coming off of Huron and Georgian Bay. Tonight, 
cold tomorrow colds more streamers that westerly wind sticks around and it's going to be on thursday where these snow squalls inch a little bit closer to the gta so we're talking vaughn new market thornhill all the areas just north of the city could get a few centimeters of snow friday not a bad day saturday we've got high pressure moving in so a nice forecast but cold and then sunday we could actually see some accumulating snow in the downtown core temperatures will be cold enough we're only going to be seeing a daytime high of two degrees come sunday so we do have a little bit of snow in the forecast. Thanks, Tom. Well, we do have watches and warnings in place. We've got a snow squall watch and snow squall warnings littered around cottage country. So if you are traveling up the 400 all the way up to Muskoka through Huntsville, Aurelia through Barrie, I mean, there is that chance that you could run into some very slick conditions. For the city of Toronto and areas to the south, I mean, through Guelph and through Cambridge and through Kitchener, Waterloo, up through Oshawa, we're not going to see much of anything throughout the day today. But tomorrow, things could change a little bit. We could see this trough coming through and that could actually amplify the snow squalls to the point where they could reach the GTA. Friday and Saturday look okay, but Sunday we do have our first significant snowfall moving in through the GTA. We could actually pick up a few centimeters of accumulation. Thanks so much for that, Kim. If you want to check out more videos of around the world in 60 seconds, just head to our website, theweathernetwork.com. I'm Emily Vukovic. It's Wednesday. It is November the 12th. And what a difference a day in a cold front can make. I know that is so cliche, but it is so true in this case. Areas further north along the shores of Huron and Georgian Bay, we are seeing snow squalls. We have that westerly wind that is going to be bringing in some accumulation. It will get closer to the GTA by Thursday and into Friday. It was still going to be dealing with those squalls. It's also going to be very cold. Temperatures well below our seasonal average of about eight degrees. So the squalls will continue on Thursday. They'll start to taper for Friday and Saturday. High pressure moving in. Sunday is the day that we could see our first accumulating snowfall throughout much of the GTA looking at a couple of centimeters. All right, I'm going to turn things over to Tom Reynolds. He has an update on your morning commute. Yeah, don't forget Tom. Yeah, he's here too. Don't forget Tom. Oh, no, no, no. Well, what a difference a day and a cold front can make. I Boy. know that is the, like the most cliche saying I could come up with, but mm -hmm. it is so true in this case. 17 degrees yesterday yeah. to a high of three today. Yeah, it's plummeting and really a beautiful day yesterday and today, Gorgeous. well, it's windy, it's cold, we got wind chills. And snow. And snow. Take a look. We've got snow squall watches and warnings. Now, now we're going to be talking about our week forecast, and we'll get you right into the weekend. Do we warm up? I've got the answer coming up in just a moment, but first, here's Tom with traffic. Lake effect, that's our big story, and that's going to continue to be our big story for the remainder of the week and into the weekend. We've got these westerly winds that don't want to go anywhere, so you can see the streamers are going to be coming off of Huron and Georgian Bay, continuing right through till Thursday. Now, by Thursday evening, that's kind of a good chance for much of the GTA to see some of these streamers, and then Friday we start to clear out. Saturday, a good day. We've got sunshine in the forecast, but then Sunday, brand new system moves in through the lower Great Lakes, and this one, unfortunately, is going to be responsible for giving us our first taste of accumulating snow. Temperatures staying below seasonal all week into the weekend. Cold and snowy, unfortunately. We do have some watches and warnings when it comes to snow squalls areas north of the city. If you're traveling up the 400 or on Highway 11, you could run into some slippery sections. We're going to continue to see these westerly winds, so snow squalls for the remainder of the week, unfortunately. Now, through the GTA, our best chance is going to be throughout the day on Thursday for us to actually reach the squalls to reach uh, much of the northern sections of the GTA. Friday, we clear out. Saturday, not a bad day. We've got high pressure in place, but Sunday, this is it. This could be our first accumulating snowfall through Toronto. That's a really good point. I mean, we were at 17 degrees yesterday. It was gorgeous. It was sunny. It was mm -hmm. warm. Mm -hmm. And our poor friends like Deb Medichka and uh, Margot Morin, Margo. those yeah. are our correspondents mm -hmm. in Alberta, they were freezing. They were bundled <laughs> up in layers and still cold. And, of course, down through Minnesota and down through there, yeah. 60 centimeters of snow. Yeah. Incredible. So, really, we're not faring too badly. No, we're good. It could fine. be much worse for us. Sure. And a lot of people love the snow. A lot of people through Cottage country, we, especially. We, love it. we both love this. Tom, we now, now. No, come on. <laughs> yeah, we'll talk more about the long range forecast coming up in just a few moments. But right now, I'm going to turn things over to Tom. I'm getting ready for the snow. Just doing a little cross country here. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. Uh, 
Snow squalls, that's going to be our story for the remainder of the week in cold temperatures. We've got that strong westerly wind. That is what's going to continue to bring us those squalls off of Huron and Georgian Bay. Thursday is probably the best chance that areas north of the city of Toronto through Vaughan and through Newmarket and Mount Forest. You could be picking up a little bit of snowfall. Now come Friday, we clear out. Saturday looks great. And then Sunday, this is our best chance for the city of Toronto to see some accumulating snowfall. Temperatures remaining below seasonal and cold for the remainder of the week week on Saturday, only a daytime high of two degrees. Thanks, Kevin. Yeah, winds are going to be gusty anywhere from 50 to 60 kilometers an hour this afternoon. Uh, you throw that in and it's going to feel much colder with the wind chill. It's going to be a very chilly day compared to yesterday. I liked yesterday better. Well, sorry. I guess that's all we can say. Sorry. <laughs> a lot there of people goes. love the snow, right? It could be a little slippery. We'll talk about the rest of the week and get you right into the weekend in just a moment. But first, here's Tom. Well, today's a much colder day. We're only going to see a daytime high of three degrees for Toronto. We've got those snow squalls continuing off of Huron and Georgian Bay. Cold westerly winds today, gusting upwards of 50 to 60 kilometers an hour, making it feel much cooler. Squalls are going to continue throughout the day tomorrow, and that's our best chance of seeing some snow north of the city. And then by Friday and Saturday, we start to clear out. Come Sunday, however, brand new system moves in through the lower Great Lakes, and this one could be giving us our first accumulating snowfall down town. It's going to be cold on Sunday, only a daytime high of two degrees. Snow squall is certainly a big story today, as are our gusty westerly winds, gusty anywhere between 50 and 60 kilometers an hour. So our three degrees is going to feel more like minus one through Toronto. It's going to be a cold day today. Streamers continue this afternoon, and tonight the heavier snow bands will be moving in fr Thursday and into Friday morning, and that's the best chance for Toronto to actually pick up. A light dusting, certainly areas north of the city more so. And then Friday and Saturday, we do clear out. Sunday, this is, could be our first kind of wet snow accumulation for the city of Toronto. Temperatures below our seasonal average of 8 degrees all week long and into early next week. It is going to be cold. By the weekend, we're looking at 2, 2 degrees for Saturday and Sunday, and 0 by the time we hit Monday. I'm not going to lie, I wore my parka today, straight up. Well, I think it's probably time to get it out and dust off. I know my wife, uh, she uh, took hers out today yeah. because she was walking the dog this morning. It's freezing. It's cold. Yeah. yeah. But you know what? We're also seeing some snow. We've got lake effect squalls coming. Water is warm still, so that's why we're seeing all that moisture being picked up with those westerly winds. Will the squalls reach Toronto? I'm going to have your answer coming up in just a moment. But first, I'm going to turn things over to Tom for an update on your commute. Well, we are going to see a fairly decent day today, if you don't mind cold temperatures. It's a mix of sun and cloud for Toronto. Those streamers are going to continue off of Huron and Georgian Bay with those westerly winds, so we are going to see the risk of seeing snow squalls through the city of Toronto, possibly north of the city, more so throughout the day tomorrow as they come in more so from the northwest. Today, they're straight westerlies, which means we're actually going to get some really cold winds. We're going to see gusts up to about 50 to 60 kilometers an hour throughout the day today, so it'll feel a lot colder than that three degrees. Squalls will continue into Friday morning, maybe impact in northern areas of the GTA. Friday, remainder of Friday, and Saturday look good, and then Sunday, best chance of accumulating wet snow through much of the GTA. All right, thanks so much, Kevin and Jess. I love that he gave her his gloves. Wouldn't it be funny if she took off? <laughs> thanks, see ya. <laughs> <laughs> yep, it would have been funny. All right, well, today is cold, and those winds today gusting anywhere between 50 and 60 mm. kilometers an hour coming in straight from the west. That is cold. We are going to feel like our minus one today. You think that's cold? Wait till they shift out of the northwest. I know. Yeah. That's coming tomorrow. Ooh. Tomorrow night, they're coming out of the northwest. Ooh. Could pick up potentially 30 centimeters of snow. It's that time of year. The air is a lot colder than the water. We'll talk more about the long range in your weekend forecast in just a minute. First, here's Tom. Well, today is not an awful day. I mean, we are going to see some sunshine, even though it's much colder than it has been. Temperatures in Toronto only getting up to 3 degrees. Yesterday, we hit 17. Those westerly winds are going to continue those streamers off of Georgian Bay and Lake Huron. And then tomorrow, when the winds shift, that is where we have a good chance of seeing the risk of some isolated snow flurries north of the city Thursday overnight and into Friday. Winds are coming in from more of a northwesterly direction. Now, by Friday afternoon and into Saturday, we clear up. But then Sunday, this could be our our first chance of a wet accumulating snowfall in the GTA. Thanks, Tom. Well, unfortunately, today is much cooler than yesterday. Toronto saw a daytime high yesterday of 17 degrees at Pearson. Today, we're barely going to hit three. A huge contrast. We can thank those northwesterly winds behind the cold front. And, well, we've got some snow in the forecast as well. 
Temperatures are going to be hovering around the freezing mark up through cottage country today. So those westerly winds bringing in quite a bit of lake effect. We're seeing snow squalls along the shores of Huron as well as through Georgian Bay. We are going to continue to see these squalls for the better part of the remainder of the week. Now into Thursday, by Thursday night, that's when areas closer to the GTA, so just north of the city, New Market through Vaughan, through Uxbridge, could pick up a few centimeters. By Friday, clearing out. Saturday, not a bad day. And Sunday, it looks as though this is going to be our next best chance of seeing some accumulating snow in Toronto. Hi there, good morning. Thanks so much for joining us here on the Weather Network. I'm Emily Vukovic. It's Wednesday, it is the 12th of November, and what a difference a day and a cold front can make. Kevin Yard yesterday was basking in sunshine and mild temperatures, and now he's freezing down at front in Simcoe. Kevin, how does it feel down there? Romantic and warm. How sweet is that? Yeah, it could be much worse for us. For those of us that don't love the cold temperatures, they're feeling wind chills into the minus 20s out west. So no thanks. I will deal with three degrees and winds that are gusting 50 to 60 kilometers an hour any day over the minus 20s. We do have snow squalls, however. The snowfall forecast looks as though some areas could get hit pretty hard. We're looking at about 30 centimeters through Perry Sound today and into tomorrow. Reason being, we've got strong westerly winds coming off of Huron and Georgian Bay. The winds are a lot colder than the water right now, so that's why we're able to pick up all of this moisture. Those squalls are going to continue for the better part of today and into tonight, also throughout the day tomorrow. Tomorrow, the winds shift to more of a northwesterly direction, so there is a chance that even north of the GTA, Uxbridge, Newmarket, through Mount Forest, you could be dealing with some wet snow flurries. It'll reach you. And then Thursday evening, that is a good chance for even the city of Toronto to see a few squalls hit our area. Now, Friday and Saturday, we clear out. But then on Sunday, this next system approaches. Now, this has the potential to bring us our first wet snow accumulation through the downtown core. We could pick up a few centimeters with this. Now, it's still a ways away, so continue to check in with us throughout the weekend to find out more details on this system. Temperatures are cold. Our seasonal average for this time of year is 8 degrees. We are nowhere near that. Yesterday we hit a daytime high of 17, well above our seasonal average. Today, 3 degrees. Tomorrow we're looking at a high of 3. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, everybody's hitting 2 degrees. And I wish I had better news for you. I wish I could say, hey, guess what? We're going to warm up next week, but we're not. We're actually going to cool down and the lake effect engines are still going to be going, which means we could see more significant snowfall through the GTA. Good morning. Thanks for joining us here on the Weather Network. I'm Emily Vukovic. It is Wednesday. It is the 12th of November. And what a difference a day in a cold front can make. I know that is incredibly cliche, but tin and got to check out some really cool looking aircraft and take part in the Remembrance Day ceremonies. Now, because of that cold front and those northerly winds, temperatures have dropped significantly and we're starting to see some lake effect fire up. Now, lake effect only really happens when the air is a lot colder than the water, and that's exactly what's happening. We have a perfect setup for the remainder of the week. So places like Perry Sound, uh, very kind of right on the cusp of this. We're looking at about five centimeters through Thursday, but Perry Sound and in through King Carden and Wyerton, 15 centimeters, certainly not out of the question. Today, if you are traveling up the 400 through Barry or up to Towards Highway 11, that is where you can certainly see some slippery sections. We are going to be seeing a little bit of cloud cover throughout the next few days in Toronto, but it's not going to be until Thursday late day that we have a chance, areas just north of the city, to see some light snow. So Newmarket through Vaughan, through Mount Forest, through Uxbridge, that's where we could pick, be picking up just a dusting or a little bit of accumulation. Friday's not a bad day. Saturday looks pretty good. I want to draw your attention to this next system. This is coming in for Sunday, and unfortunately, this looks like it could be our first snowfall of the season that sticks around. Temperatures are below seasonal. We should be around 8 degrees for this time of year. And we're only going to hit a daytime high of 3 today, 3 tomorrow, 2 on Friday, 2 on Saturday. So even though we are going to be seeing some sunshine, it'll be cold. And then in comes the snow to round off the weekend on Sunday. Thanks so much, Jacqueline. For more science behind the weather videos, you can always head to our website, theweathernetwork.com. I'm Emily Bukovic. It is Wednesday. It is November the 12th, and today is a much colder start to the day than yesterday. Conditions. Now today, 
people might be complaining. <laughs> Depends. If you love the snow and you live up in cottage country, this is the perfect forecast for you. We've got those lake effect squalls coming off of Huron and Georgian Bay. We've got strong westerly winds. The air is a lot colder than the water, and that's what helps pick up all that moisture and give us all that snow. So we're looking at the potential for 30 centimeters through Perry Sound today into tomorrow. Places like Barrie could pick up 5 centimeters, maybe even 10 centimeters. Closer to the GT TA areas north of the city, Newmarket through Vaughan, Uxbridge, Mount Forest, uh, anywhere north of Kitchener could also pick up a few more squall squalls because the winds are going to be so strong in that westerly direction. But for the most part, we're going to stay snow free until about Thursday evening through the city of Toronto. That's probably our best chance to see a few squalls hit us, but Friday we clear out. Saturday's not a bad day. Sunday, however, I do need to point this out. We do have a system approaching for Sunday, and this looks like it could be our first accumulating snowfall of the season and it's going to be cold. Our seasonal value for this time of year, eight degrees. We're barely going to hit three tomorrow. Tuesday for Friday, two for Friday and Saturday and Sunday, the day that we could see a few centimeters, we're only going to see a high of two degrees through Toronto. Good morning. Thanks for joining us here on the Weather Network. I'm Emily Vukovic. It's Wednesday. It is the 12th of November and our forecast has taken a turn for the worst. Unless you like cold and snow and then you're going to love the next couple of days. We're at the War Memorial yesterday morning. Incredible, wasn't it? Beautiful sunshine has now been replaced by cold temperatures and snow in some areas. Now, along the shores of Huron and Georgian Bay, that's where we're going to see the more intense snow squalls. We've got a very strong westerly wind. Temperatures are cold. The air is colder than the water, and that is why we're seeing all that moisture being picked up and the accumulations of about 15 centimeters in some locals. Now, we are going to see a mix of sun and clouds through the city of Toronto today, but by Thursday, that's probably our best chance to areas just north north of the city, so through Vaughan, Newmarket, through Oxbridge, through Newmarket, Thornhill, those areas could pick up a dusting of snow by Thursday evening, that's for sure. By Friday, we do start to clear out. We'll be cold, but we'll see some sunshine, and not a bad day for Saturday. Sunday, I do have to mention that this next system that looks as though it is coming right through southern Ontario could be our first impactful snowstorm of the season. We could actually see some accumulation along the shores of Ontario, Erie, it's going to be cold too. Temperatures only getting up to three degrees today, three tomorrow. By Friday, we're looking at two and then Saturday, two degrees with that high pressure. Unfortunately, that gets pushed out by Sunday and that's our next best chance of seeing some decent snowfall. Hamilton on Sunday, only a daytime high of one. And through Oshawa, we're looking at three degrees and up through Barrie, only a high. This weather segment. Very cool. All right. Thanks so much, Kim. If you want to check out more videos of Around the World in 60 Seconds, you just have to head to our website, theweathernetwork.com. I'm Emily Vukovic. It's Wednesday. It is November the 12th. And what a difference a day and a cold front can make. Throw in the winds and it is downright chilly. Kevin Yard is joining us downtown. Kevin, bundled up in your winter jacket, your mitts, but I noticed you still don't have a tube. What's your threshold? Thanks so much, Kevin. Nothing like grabbing someone when they're unprepared. <laughs> it's awesome. It's the best TV. Okay, well, we do have that snow that Kevin was just mentioning at uh, Georgian Bay around like Huron, anywhere from 5 to 30 centimeters of snow. Some of these bands can get really intense. If you are traveling today north of the 400 up through Highway 11, that is where you can see some slippery road sections. So maybe give yourself a little bit of extra travel time. Now, these streamers are going to continue throughout the day today, tonight, and into tomorrow with that strong westerly wind. But what's going to happen tomorrow? tomorrow evening is that the winds are now going to start to shift to a more northwesterly direction. So we have a better chance of seeing it north of the city. So Newmarket through Uxbridge, uh, Vaughan through Thorn Hill, that is where we could see some wet snow coming in Thursday evening and through the overnight, lingering possibly into Friday morning. Friday afternoon, we start to clear out. We'll see high pressure for Saturday, a nice, cold, sunny day. And then on Sunday, new system approaches the lower Great Lakes, and this one could have an impact. We could be seeing our first accumulating wet snow through the city of Toronto, and temperatures are staying below our seasonal average. We should be around 8 for this time of year, and we're only seeing daytime highs barely hitting 2 degrees over the weekend, and then next week it just gets even colder than that.
Great video. Thanks so much, Kim. You can catch more of those videos online at theweathernetwork.com. I'm Emily Vukovic. It's Wednesday. It is the 12th of November, and a much cooler forecast is in store for the city of Toronto. Unfortunately, today things have changed. If you love cold and you love snow, then you are in luck. Cottage country is going to see area anywhere between 15 to 30 centimeters up through Perry Sound. Now, Barry, you're looking close to more of the 5 to 10 range, and it's not going to reach the city of Toronto. The squalls I'm talking about. They're not going to reach the city of Toronto until necessarily about Thursday. But areas just north of the city, Newmarket, Uxbridge, through Thorn Hill, through Vaughan, those areas could actually pick up a light dusting with these squalls. Strong westerly winds putting the wind off the lake. It is picking up a lot of moisture. The air is colder than the lake at this time of year. So this is when squalls are really at their best. Thursday, Thursday night, that is when we're going to see those squalls get closer to Toronto. Friday and into Saturday, high pressure turns up. It's a nice break. We'll see some sunshine. But then on Sunday, next system moves in. This could be the first real accumulating snowfall for the city of Toronto. We could see a few centimeters and it's going to stay quite cold.